Let me show you how you can set the failsafe. Failsafe setting is also pretty easy. But let me highlight before we start to do that. First, you need to bind the receiver and the transmitter. And just after that, you will be able to set the failsafe. So let's just set the failsafe. First, you need to power up the receiver. Okay, a flashing with the red light, which means that waiting a transmitter signal. So let me switch on the transmitter. Okay, right now the green lamp is visible, which means that the transmitter and the receiver is connected. Okay, before we go forward, you need to move the sticks into the desired position because that will be memorized in the fail safe settings. So I'm you I'm moving the throttle stick into zero position and the only thing that I need to do is that just push this button for only one sec and the lamp will flash two times which means that the failsafe was successfully set. You can also delete the failsafe settings so if you do not need the failsafe function anymore just rebind the receiver and FailSafe settings will be deleted. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. Thank you for watching.